Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aditya and I am making this video because I have seen a lot of negative comments going around the social media regarding the 6 uh, year DRNB course in neurosurgery at Sir Ganga Ram Hospital that there is a lot of toxicity there because as some of you may know that 2-3 to three residents of 1st year, 2nd year have left the department left their seat in neurosurgery but I will tell you about my reason why I left it. So first of all, let me introduce myself. <clears throat> so I am Dr. Aditya. I have done my MBBS from Maulana Azad Medical College, New Delhi. In NEET PG 2023, I got a All India rank of 1084. After that, I decided I was a bit confused between medicine and neurosurgery, uh, to be frank. But finally, I took neurosurgery in August 2023. But after working four to five months, I realized that this branch was not for me and I did not look myself as a neurosurgeon in future. So I decided to change my course. That's why I left the seat in December 2023. I'll tell you more details what was the reason behind me leaving the seat but it was not toxicity and again I prepared for NEET PG 2024 and I got an All India rank of 844. So did I leave the seat because of toxicity? The answer is no. So yes neurosurgery as a branch is hectic but so any course all over India for the first year residency is hectic anyway. So, but neurosurgery is something which is hectic throughout your life. You will have to go to attend night calls at around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And talking about the toxicity, all surgical branches are toxic to some extent. It is not some black or white thing that here it is toxic and here it is not. It is some of a gray zone. Somewhere it's more toxic, somewhere it's less toxic. So, what was my experience of the toxicity at neurosurgery in Sarganga Ram Hospital. So I have first hand experience of two surgical branches. One during my internship at Maulana Zad Medical College in general surgery and second in neurosurgery at Sarganga Ram Hospital. And from my experience, MEMC is more toxic than Sarganga Ram Hospital. Overall, what I have heard, VMMC is even more toxic than MEMC. But even then people take admission in VMMC and MEMC because they are the top colleges of India. Similarly, PGI Chandigarh is also toxic, BJMC Ahmedabad from whatever is also toxic and Sage GS and KEM Hospital Mumbai is also somewhat toxic. I am talking about surgical branches here. So still people take a <coughs> admission in these colleges simply because they are one of the best institutes all over India. So just if just a branch is if it is toxic, that doesn't decide whether you are taking admission your decisions will depend on other things also. So, how is neurosurgery at Gangasar Ganga Ram Hospital? So, if you are someone who looks himself as only neurosurgeon in future, who is completely sure that he has to take neurosurgery, so it's always better to go for a six-year course rather than a three-year course. This is what I feel because in six-year course, you are spending six years of your time in neurosurgery and you get much more exposure as compared to a three-year neurosurgery course. So what are the pros and cons of neurosurgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital? In Sir Gangaram Hospital, there are a variety of cases. All the rare cases which you won't find anywhere else, you get to see here. There are modern equipments, modern microscopes. There is some research also going on about deep brain stimulation here. All the latest neurosurgical procedures are done here. There are lots of tumors and spinal cases. You will see all kinds of tumors. During my four to five years, during my four to five months of residency only, I saw glioblastoma, astrocytoma, and medulloblastoma. And if you are interested, you will get enough hands on. This is the most frequently asked question that since Sir Gangaram is a private hospital, do you get enough hands on? So there are some wards. There are also general wards there which are only for the less affording people. So most of the cases of general wards are being done by the residents 
and if you are interested you will get enough hands on as the consultants gain confidence in you you surely get hands on now the cons neurosurgery is a hectic branch which i have already said here and academics is something which is less focused but this is true for all surgical departments no one is going to sit and teach you the complete like let's study to the chapter 1 of neurosurgery no one is going to do like that but it's not zero there is definitely some academics there are weekly seminars and how the academics of the how the academics goes on depends on on you if you prepare your seminars and if you present them then the academics will definitely improve and there is no ot exposure in curriculum in the first year so what i saw there was that in other branches like plastic surgery and ctvs they uh, they went to ot generally in first year also but in neurosurgery you can go to ot only if you have completed your ward work and only after you have done 36 hours of duty then you can go if you are interested and there is less manpower this you can call a pro also or a con also because since there is less manpower the department becomes more hectic but also because there is less manpower you get more hands on you get more chances to perform pr procedures and assist in the cases how generally is the progression of a resident in sir gangaram hospital in the first year there is lots of ward work and ward procedures like you will get to do lumbar punctures you will get to change tracheostomy tubes you will get to connect evd to omaya reservoir you will get to do a lot of dressing and foley's there is also a clerical work of completion of files so this is what you will get in every first year resident any in any department these clerical works and these ward works and there is duty mobile which is supposed to be handled by the first year so initially depending upon how quick you learn the things the first to, uh, the one to three months there you spend in cover duty and in cover duty there is a senior along with you who will guide you and uh, these cover duties are 12 to 13 per month these cover duty are of 36 hours each and uh, once you get to know how the hospital works how the things are done you will get individual duties in that you are all alone in the night so you have to manage everything from the emergency to next to preparing cases for next day ot to looking at new admissions and to manage any emergency if it comes at night so the cover duty which was 12 to 13 per month gets reduced to 7 to 9 per month this was when when there were two residents but since now there are three to four seats vacant so most likely there uh, four new seats will come at neurosurgery in sir gangaram hospital so i don't know what will be the distribution then so for this you need to contact the current residents who are working there now when you get to second year the first six months are spent on your ot training and you get to train your junior in ward so simultaneously two things are happening you are training for your ot and you are training your junior for the work done in wards after six months you get to start uh, you get start assisting the consultants in ot but here it's not just ot it's rotation kind of like some months you will be in ot some months you will be in a ward so after two years of residency you will have a drnb part one examination which is general surgery plus neurosurgery basic things mainly neuroanatomy and all so once you clear your drnb part one examination or if you don't clear it even then your third year starts and you get another chance if you don't clear it in third year so third year fourth year and fifth year you the continuous rotation happens sometimes you are posted in elective ot's where you assist the consultants and sometimes you are posted in ward where you take rounds and manage ward and in this third year fourth year fifth year depending on the load of case or depending on the confidence of the consultant has in you if you are into the consultants good books sometimes even you will get individual cases to do 
so the most important thing is to get into the good books of the consultant after fifth year you have your dnb part 2 examination and once you clear this you have cleared your dnb now the sixth year you, this is mandatory you have to do this this is like a one year sr ship after you clear all your dnb exams and in the sixth year you are mostly posted in ot where you get to assist and sometimes even operate individually now how is academic set sir gangaram hospital seniors are willing to teach if you are interested if you prepare your seminars if you study if you ask your doubts seniors will definitely teach you and there are weekly seminars scheduled these are scheduled but sometimes these happen sometimes they don't depending upon if you have prepared your seminars or if your senior has prepared your seminars uh, because the duties are so hectic so sometimes you this is it is possible that you won't be able to prepare your seminar and the classes classes then cancelled or if all the seniors are busy in ot or ward or it's going very hectic then the seminars will be cancelled so it's true that if you present your seminars the seniors will definitely clear your doubt and one thing is that that consultants won't teach you everything but if you have any doubt they will clear your doubts and this happens everywhere nowhere a consultant sits and teach you everything so how are seniors at sir gangaram hospital in neurosurgery department <clears throat> so every surgical department whether be it general surgery or plastic surgery or cardiothoracic surgery or any surgery all over india some people will be toxic and some people will be very supporting you need to find these supporting people once you find these supporting people it's you have to find some support in your institution whether it is your friends or some people some other senior in your department so a support system is very necessary in any surgical department all seniors are academically very good and they are always ready to teach you if you are interested and if you get tired or if you have completed your work and you feel tired the duty room is yours if your work is done you are free to take rest you can always go there and take rest seniors want to tell that no you are not allowed to take rest here you have to do some work it's not like that consultants the consultants are good to you especially if you are good to their patients if you treat those patients as if they are your own patients the consultants they give you chances they give you cutting chances they give you hands on so the main thing here is to get in the good books of consultants if they have confidence in you they will give you to operate mm. and the most important thing is if you are good to the patients attendants remember you they praise you sometimes they even bring food for you and uh, why did i leave the branch Be the main reason was even when i was taking neurosurgery i was still confused about medicine and neurosurgery and day by day i was not satisfied with neurosurgery and when i looked at the life of consultants even that somewhat made me think that i don't want this life in future where i have to come at 3 am or 4 am at night in medicine it's up to you if you want to deal with emergencies you can deal it deal with it or if you don't want it you can't but in neurosurgery it, you have to deal with emergencies you have to deal with mortality and emergencies throughout your life and even patients who are alive most of them are chronic patients and they are just lying on the bed which makes it kind of depressing sometimes personally i don't like a lot of interventions and procedures so maybe that was also one of the reason of me leaving the branch and the seat so it was not due to toxicity because i knew before taking neurosurgery that surgical branches are somewhat toxic it's not gangaram is not that toxic but yes somewhat toxicity is there everywhere if you are someone who is sure that you only look yourself as a neurosurgeon in future you need to definitely go for it and if you want to know more about the details and insights some of the insights which i have not shared here about neurosurgery at sir gangaram hospital you can reach out to me on instagram at 
आदित्य अंडर स्कोर आकाश नाइंटी एट आई वुड बी वेरी हैप्पी टू टेल यू मोर सो दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई साइड होप इट विल मेक यू इट विल हेल्प यू मेक अ बेटर डिसीजन whether to take neurosurgery 6 years at gangaram hospital or not thank you